Hi viewers, welcome to JSM. In previous video, we have explained about applications of long straight conductor, which is finite length, semi-infinite, and infinite lengths. Now, in this video, I am going to explain about some more applications of straight conductor. In that, the first one, which is magnetic induction at the center of a square. Magnetic induction at the center of a square. Square is here having four sides which are equal in length. Now, I am taking here a square which is named as A, B, C, D. A square which having named as A, B, C, D. And having length, having side length, small a. Having side length, small a. And carries a current, small i, in clockwise direction. Current, small i, in clockwise direction. All, okay. All we know that about square is a form of four sides. So that here, four individual conductors are formed square. The conductors are given here A, B, first conductor B, C, second conductor C, D, third conductor D, A, fourth conductor. So all conductors are taken. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now find the magnetic field at the center P due to first conductor, due to second conductor, due to third conductor and due to fourth conductor. First of all, find the four field due to first conductor then field due to second then field due to third then field due to fourth conductors okay now i'm going to your first conductor due to first conductor what is the magnetic field here so i can let here the current flowing from a to b in upward direction in upward direction first of all find the magnetic field direction at point p then after we will find the magnitude. First of all, find the direction of magnetic field at point B. Look here, the current is moving upward direction. So using from right hand thumb rule. Right hand thumb rule. Right hand thumb rule. Thumb gives a direction of current. Then curled fingers will give a direction of magnetic field. Right hand rule here. Thumb gives the direction of current. Curled finger is the direction of magnetic field. So here I am using the thumb in the direction of current upward. Then folded fingers at point P going inward direction. Going inward. So field due to the first conductor is inward. Field due to the first conductor is inward direction. Now let us find the magnitude. Further take here point P. The perpendicular distance from the first conductor. Perpendicular distance from the first conductor and that perpendicular distance this will be the center of a square so the perpendicular distance is given as here a by 2 okay perpendicular distance is a by 2 and upper half of the conductor becomes a by 2 lower half of the conductor is also a by 2 now join point b from p and as well as a from b here now we need to find the angles here. What is the angle at a point B? This angle and as well as this angle. Okay. What is the angles we have here? Now look at this is a triangle. You can check this part. Okay. So giving this should be a name here as some word should be O. So triangle OBP and triangle OAP is a right angle triangle. OBP is a right angle triangle, OAP is a right angle triangle. So here the angle is 90 degrees. Here the angle is 90 degrees. But also if you take the, the angle at B here, where it is a square, square is a symmetrical structure. So the line BP which will be bisects the whole angle at B. Okay, the line BP which will be Bisects the whole angle at B. Whole angle at B will be 90 degrees. So it will be bisection. So this portion is taken as 45 degrees. This portion is 45 degrees. If this is 45, now look at the triangle OBP. OBP. This angle is 90. This angle is 45. And we know that the total angle in a triangle is 180 degrees. 
So here it is 90, here it is 45. So 90 plus 45 which is 135. So the remaining angle at here which should be 45 degrees. It should be 45 degrees at a point B. Here it is 45 and here it is also 45 degrees because of the symmetrical structure. Okay. So the angles are got here 45, 45 and more importantly we have that Magnetic induction due to the finite length of the conductor B is equal to mu naught I by 4 pi A sin pi 1 plus sin pi 2. Here A will be the perpendicular distance. A is a perpendicular distance of point P from the conductor. So here we are taken A will be the side length of the square. A will be the side length of the square. So to avoid confusion, I am taking in place of A here as a R. So, for avoiding confusion only, where R is a perpendicular distance. R is a perpendicular distance. Here, R is given as the perpendicular distance from O to P. How much the O to P distance is here? A by 2 and pi 1 equals to 45 and pi 2 is also 45. Pi 1 is 45 degrees, pi 2 is also 45 degrees. So, magnetic induction at point B due to first conductor, due to first conductor, so I am using B1 is equals to mu naught I by 4 pi R. What is our value here? A by 2 sin pi 1. What is pi 1? 45 degrees and pi 2 is also 45 degrees okay so b1 is equals to 2 is taken up 2 into mu naught i by 4 pi a sin 45 plus sin 45 which is 2 sin 45 2 sin 45 here 2 into 2 will give us 4 into mu naught i by 4 pi a mu naught i by 4 by A. A and you have the rest sin 45. 2 is taken here. So sin 45. What is the sin 45 value? B is equals 4 into mu naught I by 4 pi A. Sin 45 is 1 by root 2. Okay, 1 by root 2. So B1. Okay, magnetic induction at B due to the first conductor is B1 is equals 4 into mu naught I by 4 pi A into 1 by root 2, where 4 you can written as 2 into 2, 2 into 2 into mu naught i by 4 pi a pi into 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. Now you may get it as that root 2, 2 here gets cancelled, that we will get an equation here finally b1 is equals to 2 root 2 mu naught I by 4 pi A. B1 is given as 2 root 2 mu naught I by 4 pi A. 2 root 2 mu naught I by 4 pi A. Okay, B1 is given as the magnetic field induction due to first conductor. Now at point B, similarly, we need to find due to second conductor. We need to find due to third conductor. And we need to find due to fourth conductor. Now look at the directions due to second, due to third, due to fourth, okay, due to second conductor, I am using the, okay, here the fingers I am using, thumb is the direction of current, then curled fingers is going in what, due to second is also in what, due to third is also, we are using the thumb in the direction of current, then curled finger is in what, due to the third also in what, and due to the fourth also in what direction, okay, due to first conductor in what, due to second in what, Due to third inward, due to fourth is also inward. The direction is given here as the cross symbol inward direction. Due to the first conductor is inward. Due to second is also inward. Due to third is also inward. Due to fourth is also inward. So the net magnetic induction, net magnetic induction at center. Net magnetic induction at the center is B net is given as 4 times of B1. 4 times of B1. That is B net 
is equals to 4 into what is b1 2 root 2 mu naught i by 4 pi a 4 into 2 root 2 mu naught i by 4 pi a so the b mat is given as 8 root 2 8 root 2 mu naught i by 4 pi a the magnetic induction at the center of the square is given as b net is equals to 8 root 2 mu naught i by 4 pi a and the direction of this magnetic field at the center is inward the direction is given with here inward which will be the cross symbol this is not wrong here it should be cross which will be the direction of magnetic field showing that in the word at this place due to this current the current is in clockwise direction so the magnetic field at the center is in the word this is a magnetic induction at the center of a square b net is equals 8 root 2 mu naught i by 4 pi a now we'll see a problem regarding that magnetic induction at the center of a square here we have a problem that a conductor in the shape of a square edge conductor in the shape of a square edge of length 0.4 meter edge of length 0.4 meter carries a current of 10 amperes carries a current of 10 amperes okay edge is 4 0.4 meters current is 10 ampere then calculate the magnitude and direction of magnetic field calculate the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field at the center of a square at the center of a square just now we have seen that magnetic field at the center b is given as 8 root 2 mu naught i by 4 pi a here i is the amount of current a will be the side length of the square okay here it is a square side length is a and given what is a value here given that the side length a is given as how much 0 0.4 meter and the amount of current is given i is equals to 10 ampere a is given 0 0.4 meter i is given as 10 amperes therefore substitute in that magnetic field at the center b is equals to 8 root 2 mu naught i by 4 pi a 8 root 2 mu naught i by 4 pi a that is 8 root 2 what is the value of mu naught 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 i value 10 amperes by 4 pi and a is the side length which is given 0 0.4 okay so 4 pi 4 pi gets cancelled so rest we have the 10 you have power minus 7 so it comes as minus 6 therefore 8 root 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and here point you have in denominator so it comes up 10 by 4 10 by 4 so 4 ones are 4 twos are and 10 power here it should be minus 5 so the magnetic field at the center is 2 root 2 10 to the power of minus 5 tesla 2 root 2 10 to the power of minus 5 tesla and the direction the direction is given here with the help of this current the current is upward here straight down and left towards left so thumb due to the thumb here thumb is the direction of current then field is inward from due to this one also okay field is inward okay like this you can have and thumb is the direction of current then curled finger is inward now due to the third curled finger is inward and due to the fourth curled finger is sorry due to the fourth curled finger is inward so from all the conductors the my direction is inward direction so the direction is given with cross which is inward direction is cross the cross showing that perpendicular to the plane of the board and inward direction this is we have for magnetic induction at the center of a square b is equals to root 2 10 to the power of minus 5 tesla